Hello and welcome to another ship showcase. Today we will be showcasing the Bloodhound version 2. Now I will go ahead and warn you guys, I don't actually own this ship. It was supplied to me by a fellow company member, Invalid Mean. Thank you, Invalid. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. I haven't got to use the ship a whole lot. I'm just kind of going off of what I see and the little bit I've flown it around so far. I haven't used it in combat, but we're just going to review it how it is. To start off, I mean, this thing just looks badass. This is a bundle of badassery right here. This puppy comes with 16 laser cannons. The only downside to that is currently, if we go here to the market, um, laser cannon magazines are through the roof uh, in terms of price. So it's very expensive to shoot. I'll pop off a few rounds later, but I'm not going to be shooting a whole bunch. I don't have that kind of money. Over here on the side, we can see that we do have a whole slew of maneuvering thrusters as well as a free, uh, free hard point there. Towards the back, we've got a great looking engine design. I believe these are tier 3 thrusters, uh, tier 3 triangle thrusters, so yeah, this, this ship's going to be fast, I can tell you that much. Moving towards the top here, we do have uh, some sort of navigation set up, and towards the front, finally, we have the name of the ship right here on the front. That looks cool, doesn't it? That looks really neat. Something else to note, look at this glass cockpit. Look how many layers of glass there is here. There's a whole slew of glass between you and space. So hopefully that serves as some protection from getting shot. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Now right up front here, again we have the navigation, doesn't look like it's working as of now. Got some pretty typical displays. And then here we have our propellant time. Over here we have our warp class and radiation rate, we have a transponder button, and a charge gun button. Uh, this needs to be on in order for your ship to shoot, as it seems that the laser cannons both require ammunition and uh, power charged up on them as well. We have our fuel gauge. It's getting mighty low. We have our crosshair. Battle button. I have absolutely no clue what this does. Hopefully someone can comment down in the description to help out with that. I have no idea what that does. We have the hatch button here, propellant, durability errors, and a rangefinder distance. Now I believe this aim button has to do something with that rangefinder distance, um, but from the little bit I've done testing wise, I haven't figured out what that does either. Of course we've got our cruise button. Now here's an interesting part about the ship that you might miss actually. There are actually seats in the back. Now these seats have some additional information on them. You know, we've got our fuel, our work class again, durability errors, our ammo, our propellant time, as well as another hatch button, a little window to look out of on either side. And here's the best part about the back seat. This right here, point of view. You're the Bob who can't drive, so you have to ride in the back. That's funny. I'm glad he put this in here. I really got a kick out of that when I found it. We just hop out of here. Uh, one thing I will note that I don't really like about this ship is I understand that the creator was probably going for a small form, but this is just incredibly cramped right here. I mean, you're, you're out here fighting and when you want to look at, you know, your displays over here, you, you have to look so far down. Now granted, you will have the hatch down and your crosshair on beforehand, and a lot of your useful information is stored up here, but I don't know, it just feels kind of cramped. It's not a deal breaker for me, um, just something I'm not a big fan of. Of course here you've got this bolt right in front of your face that can hopefully help you aim a little bit. So let's go ahead and try this ship out flying-wise. Hopefully we don't run out of gas. 
if we go ahead and look back at Origin 2, we can see that this thing absolutely hauls balls. Real quick ship. It's y'all. It's good. The pitch is good. And the roll is good. They all seem to be pretty linear, which is good. Um, one thing I like about this is when you're flying combat ships, or coming from my PvP experience anyways, you don't want a ship that is jerking around a whole lot and just spinning circles when you try to move. And this ship doesn't do that at all. It feels very, very smooth. I like it. It seems like it would be easy to track a target with this sort of setup. So let's go ahead and pop off a few shots here and feel the the fury of the laser cannons. Now I know some of those magazines back there are empty so we're not gonna see all of the laser cannons running. But we've got a handful to do. Look at that. That is so cool. That is really neat. I like the laser cannons. I imagine they probably do a whole lot of damage. It's certainly got to be better than the auto cannons, which are pretty much standard this point in open alpha. Overall, the ship handles well. It looks pretty. Uh, it's got two seats in the back in case you want to have uh, some friends along, although it is cramped. Hopefully uh, none of them go to puke. As, as the pilot, you're most certainly going to be in the splash zone with all the uh, swirling around you're going to be doing. Just a, a really clean design. Now it does come in at a really high price point. Um, and with that high price point, I can't recommend it as a good PvP ship right now. And the only reason for that is this almost seems a little bit luxury in my book. It seems like you could downgrade just a little bit in terms of price, and you could still get a good ship. I feel that there are quite a bit of luxury features on this ship that aren't necessary. Do you really need 16 laser cannons to take down a ship? Probably not. Probably not. You would probably be okay with four. But this thing doesn't just have four. It's got 16 of them because it's nuts. <laughs> so yeah, a really cool ship. I'm glad I got to, to go ahead and showcase it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, if you would like to go out and have some fun times with our company, I'll leave the link in the description below. We do do fleets um, pretty often, just about every other day or every day. Um, and those fleets consist of both mining and PvP fleets. If you guys have any videos you would like to see me make, whether they be tutorials or more ship showcases, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know. I'll, I most certainly read every comment. and. Hopefully that can guide me towards making videos you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.